Hey everybody, Raven here, and today I've got a box of dimes. I looked through the holes and it looks like it's circulated, but we're going to crack it open live here real quick to see, to double check, and hopefully we can find some silver, maybe a 96W or something hiding. You just never know what you're going to get, but yes, we've got circulated dimes, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, if we find any obvious enders, we'll open them live. And uh, if not, we'll be back after the first of the Dima Mids. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, everybody. So we got through the first of the Dima Mids. Sorry about my voice, but hey, I couldn't believe it. We actually have a 1961 Silver Rosie. This is in about the fourth roll that I went through. And just really super happy because honestly, dimes are a hard find. Um, if you find silver in dimes, you're doing really well. And it's one of those things that around the beginning of the year is your best time to be looking through coins. Anytime after uh, about Thanksgiving to about March or April, you have a better chance of finding silver in your nickels, your dimes, quarters, and what have you because people take change to the bank and get it rolled um i'm very happy with the dime i'm hoping i find more we've got four more diamond mids to go you just never know what you're gonna find raven hot coins stay tuned all right ladies and gentlemen we got through the second of the diamond mids and we didn't find any silver or no proofs no errors but hey we got three more diamond mids to go through got the fingers crossed Fingers are getting dirtier. Hopefully we find some more silver. We'll see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got through Diamond Mid number three. We have another find. We got a 1964. One more silver in the box, ladies and gentlemen. That makes me really happy. That's a Denver Mint. You can see the little mark right there. And also it lets me know that, hey, you can still find some cool stuff in almost any denomination. It's been a while since I've searched dimes. And honestly, when I started this search, I was kind of discouraged because, you know, dimes are pretty well known and a lot of people keep an eye out for dimes and especially quarters in their change. One of the reasons I really like nickels is because the 1942 through 45 has the war nickel, the 35% silver. And a majority of people out there do not know about war nickels. That's why you find them more frequently in boxes. We have two more diamond mids to go through. Got the fingers crossed. Still getting dirty. Hopefully, we find some more. We'll see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this box is actually turned out to be pretty cool. 1964. And this time we have a Philly three silver dimes in the box so far. I am super happy about that. Anytime you find dimes that are silver in, in a dime hunt, you're doing really well, like I said before. And it's one of those things, too, that don't get discouraged or give up. Always go back and try because, hey, when you're getting $6 plus in silver for 30 cents, you can't beat that. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got through the last of the Dima Mids and no more finds, unfortunately, but we did get one, two, three silver in the box. And like I said, you can't go wrong for about $6 in silver for literally 30 cents in about an hour of your time. I know that's not making a lot of money, but if you do this long enough, things add up. If you go back and look at my uh, beginning videos from years ago when I was talking about coin roll hunting and how you can parlay this into building your stack, um, it really holds true because I've only done so many boxes of war ni uh, nickels so far this year, and I've got that pile of war nickels. I've got some dimes. I uh, gave away a number of half dollars recently on a live search that I found, an uh, auction where I had found uh, silver halves. So 
best thing to do is to stick with it. The more you search, the more you'll find. If you want to correspond, it's ravenhawkcoins at gmail.com. Our PO box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you real soon. Ravenhawk Coins, have a great day.